fellow baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Digging in, Charlie Blackman. Leading off tonight for Colorado. And a 2 1 on the way. And a swing and a miss there. That's inside. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Blackman checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing, that's ball four, he walked him. Got a great back and forth and that at bat, he had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there, I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now, Ezekiel Tovar. And the 2-2. Lifted in the air, right field. Carroll moving under it. And there's one away. Brian McMahon steps to the plate. Batting third. The third baseman, number 24. Brian McMahon. And a 1 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Here comes a pitch. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. Chris Bryant bops one out of here. And they grab the lead. It's 2-0. Two, two outs, nobody on. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Awkward swing there for the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Next pitch just misses. And now it's three and two. Now fly ball to right center. Thomas racing over to make the catch. Here's a speed threat, Corbin Carroll. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. In the air, right field. Goodman brings it in, and there's one down. Here's Tommy Pham. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And now it's Christian Walker. Pickoff move to first. Carroll back in on a dive. 
you know, Christian Walker, a guy who had a really successful amateur career, his college ball with the South Carolina Gamecocks, they won the College World Series twice with Walker, and he tied the College World Series record for most career. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. Back here at Chase Field, and now it's Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz. 1-1 now. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Started after the 1-2 pitch, appealed to first. He did not go around. The next offering misses, and now 3-2. the pitch swing and a high fly ball to left coming on is fam to make the play and there's one down now it's Brendan Rogers the second base Brendan the pitch Roger. and this is inside Bounce to the right. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. On the ground. Perdomo on to first. And that is that. Bottom of the second. Alec Thomas now. The 1-1. One, one. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Kicks and fires. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. He goes down looking. Now it's Chase Peterson. And the righty deals. And fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. New inning getting started. So in now for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. Number nine. Brenton Doyle. The pitch. Got him. And one out now. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. And it's fouled away. And the right hater deals. Blackman tries to check his swing. Now will look to third. Did not go. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two away. Two outs, space is empty. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Fly to right his first time. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. Bottom of the inning to the batter now, Gabriel Moreno. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. 
just missed. Here's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a 3 2. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Corbin Carroll. One for one, he let off the bottom of the first with a single. One ball. Swing and a miss. One and two. Caught him looking for the K. Could tell Marte up to the plate. Flight out his first time. Perdomo leads off first with two down to the inning. That's in there. That is strike two. That one ran inside, almost got him. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Everything came together for him. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing mean, was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now Tommy Pham. Next offering is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. Around third. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. As we go to the top of the fourth, down the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Stays alive. Battling here as he fouls it away. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Carroll makes the catch, and there's one away. Now here's Nolan Jones. Over oh, one with a fly out. Nolan Jones. Close one, doesn't get the call. And now three and one. Jones checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And he went, says Larry Bullard. And the pitch. Good job to fight that one off.
gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. The catcher, number 35. Now the catcher Elias. up to hit, Diaz. Elias Diaz. Fly to left his first time up. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one pushed foul. McMahon off of first with two away. Foul ball still a one and two count. On the ground the first, he steps on the bag, and that'll do it. And welcome back, bottom of the fourth, and now Christian Walker. The pitch. That's a strike. Well, these Diamondbacks just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bag after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never trying to... First offering, runner goes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Got him swinging. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Fouls it off, still one and two. And here it comes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Jace Peterson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Peterson. Here's a 1 1. Outside. Started after it. Appeal to third. No swing. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. And that's just foul. And a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. He was right all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And here is Hunter Goodman. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. All these Rockies do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Feels like almost every at-bat has gone full. They've worked a full count six different times, and that's the main reason his pitch count is so high right now. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. Caught looking his first time the up. center fielder, Brenton Doyle. And that's in for a strike. Hey. 
Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. That shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's Chuck Nasty. Next one is off the play. Two and one. And there's the strike. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Right-hander kicks, deals, and a swing and a miss, and that's that. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Leading off for the title. That's shortstop. The 1 1. And strike two. You know, these D backs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. So the lineup flips over. This is Corbin Carroll. One down, base is empty. Well, tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Matt Cook. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. In to score from third. And they trail by one. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Takes an inside pitch and just lays it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get something to the outfield grass to push that run across. Now it's going to be Tommy Fan. Next one misses. Three and one. Line, and that's a base hit. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that one in the air center field. Doyle puts it away. Two down. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Brent Suter. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what opposing teams did that to me. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The 1-1. One -one. And that's down it away. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball cow. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs.
the 2 2 now. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. One and two here. Swings and misses. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And the batter now, Ryan McMahon. Next pitch misses outside. Counts full three and two. Got it by him for the K. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. One for two with a two run homer back in the first. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the DH. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. The designated hitter. Here's the 2-2. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to Bryant. One away, bottom of the sixth. Jace Peterson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. To the right side, Rogers in plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. New pitcher in the You're game for the Rockies, Tyler Kinley. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And the pitch is in for a strike. And a count, one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. So in now for Colorado, Nolan Jones. And one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. Just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Righty to the plate. Check swing. Go. Now an appeal to third. Nope, he held back. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Next for Colorado, Elias Diaz. The 2-1. And that's outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. In for a strike. Now it's 3-2. Oh. 
swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now it's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. And a 1 1. In the air on the infield, Peterson moving under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Justin Lawrence. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Number 61. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. Here's a 2 2. And that one off the outside edge. That's a really good take. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. Tried to check his swing, appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. Left hand batter waits. That clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit. Can't glove it cleanly. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Cattell Marte. The one one is fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss struck him out. Diamondbacks down to their final out. Here's the left fielder Tommy Pham. One one now. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? And it's even up. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. It was a tough day at the plate for the hitters. Only able to scratch out a couple of hits with some really good pitching, some good defense. You don't expect to win the game when you only put up two hits, but somehow they found a way to get it done. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shopping saying so long.